Greetings, Diocese of Olympia and all who are watching. In this diocese, we pay special tribute to the people of St. Peter's Episcopal Church, Seattle. We remember Executive Order 9066 and the sad days and unfortunate actions of our government which followed. To all the Japanese Americans who were wrongly interned by our country during World War II. Executive Order 9066 was a United States presidential executive order signed and issued during World War II by U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt on February 19, 1942. It changed the lives of countless Japanese Americans in this country, and it changed us as a country. It also had a profound change on the Episcopal Church in western Washington. This executive order cleared the way for the internment of Japanese Americans, German Americans, and Italian Americans. No single ethnic group suffered more than the Japanese Americans, and that was even more profound in the Pacific Northwest. On the west coast of the U.S., nearly 120,000 Japanese Americans were taken from their homes and lives and put into internment camps all over this country. St. Peter, Seattle. The Japanese American parish closed on April 26, 1942 and remained closed for the remainder of the war. Although the building may have been empty for the next three years, faithful members of St. Peter's continued being the church even in camp. Along with other Episcopalians in camp, they called themselves Church of the Apostles and continued worshiping and praying together until they could return home. Today, if you visit famous Pike Place Market, one of the most popular tourist attractions in Seattle, you will see a permanent marker about this executive order and its impact on the market. More than half of all the farmers in the market at that time were Japanese American and were taken away. Most of the stalls were empty in the days that followed. This executive order wasn't rescinded by our government until February 19, 1976, 35 years later. We regret the actions of our country then and pray regarding similar actions being taken today, praying that we as a people do not make a similar mistake in this generation. December 7, 1941 is Pearl Harbor. Executive Order 9066 comes down in February. I went to Pearl and saw the barbed wires and the machine gun pointed at us the rifles and, and they had bayonets on them. For all intents and purposes, they were concentration camps. Then I believed we were really prisoners. The inhumanity of man to man. For me, being 12 years old, it was sort of an adventure. Went to the pig farm in a truck with a lunch, and that was our outing. We had to do our, our best with it. We picked up seashells made like necklaces. It was an adventure. I didn't realize the ramifications until I was an adult. Such a, an important story, an American story to tell. How do we want to remember uh, what happened to St. Peter's? Too important not to share. You hear all these things. A very traumatic telling. We're American citizens. You know, you have to be very vigilant because this could happen again. Rhetoric of our president mentioning the fact that maybe they could use this executive order as a way to round up Muslims. Nowadays you read about Muslim people. It does bring back those things. Hopefully it's never going to happen again. It's our story and we need to tell it now before it's really too late. This is St. Peter's now yeah. and we have a lot of history.